Good morning. Hello. Yes, you can see that I'm in my pocket ring planner and I have tried to record this a couple of times now, but then I start ranting and I don't want this whole video to be a long rant, but in conclusion of what I've been trying to say on like the fifth take of this video is if you want to change your planner, do it. Nothing is stopping you from changing the size, the inserts, the cover, just do it. Don't worry about what other people think because some people in this planner community take things a little too seriously. So I am in no way trying to sway anyone into a pocket, just to make that clear. And if this works for you, hey, give it a shot. But I think in the last 10 years of, if you followed me that long, you know, I like to change my planners, my sizes, my covers, all the things. However, what's different from back then versus now is I'm not constantly buying covers anymore. I would say in the course of these 10 years, I've probably bought upwards of 100 covers. I have no idea. I've lost track. But in the past maybe four years, I've bought three covers, four max. I don't know. I, I only have three planners. I have my personal, my pocket, my hand-stitched leather tee. Oh, excuse me. And I have a couple passports. So that's what I have. So I have the ability to bounce from planner to planner because I have a system and my system works in all my planners. So um, yeah, so that's how I'm able to do this. It doesn't affect my way of planning. I am able to stay on track with what I need to stay on track with and it works for me. Now, some people take this to the next level and are beyond serious about it and can't understand how planner people hop. They can't understand how you can change sizes of planners and it still work and that you're not taking it seriously. Oh, and if you have too much deco in your planner, then watch out. You're not a serious planner. You're not a functional planner. That word drives me absolutely crazy. And I've probably said it in the past. Who knows? But functional. Everyone's planner is functional for them. Whether you are minimal, bare bones in your planner, or you have pictures and stickers and all the things. If the planner works for you, it's still functional for you. So, okay, I'm going to let that go. <laughs> We're moving into, I am now back in a pocket ring. My setup is the same. I did have the majority of these inserts already, but um, I did see some new ones that I wanted to try. And I'm going to try and dive into this. I am going to try my best to link everything below. Um, I am not affiliated with any of these inserts, these shops, um, or this planner, and I will try and link as much as I can below, but if there is something in the planner that you would like to know where it is from, please don't hesitate to comment below. Um, I'm gonna move my little planner pouch, and I have a couple little things over here. Might as well just show you guys these real quick. These are Plan With B. These are her little freebie printables. Uh, these ones are not, these are from her Etsy. Um, I did not print them on sticky notes because I wanted to hole punch them or paper clip them in. So this is just, yeah, some of those that I printed. And then I have just a couple things. These little stickers are so cute. I'm, I'm like really obsessed with cat stickers these days. And then I just got this one I'm going to add to my planner. And then this is the Peanuts Planner Co. Free Monthly. I am freezing right now. Um, this is the free monthly. And I was fine. I'm trying to find a page that's not written on. I was finding that these boxes are super tiny. They're so cute, but they're tiny. So my girl, Marcia Bermucci, she has this one. And so it's month on two page, but look, look at the size difference in boxes. Like it's night and day with how much space you have. And these are pocket ring inserts. These are not pocket plus. They are the straight pocket insert, like the tiny ones, like same size as Filofax inserts. So I have not blown anything up or anything like that. I am strictly using tiny inserts. And I love it because it makes everything close so much nicer. My tabs aren't sticking out. So, okay, start with the planner. This is my pocket mo term. Cannot for the life of me remember the name. It is a veg tan leather. So it will get darker over time. It'll patina, which is what I really like. Unfortunately, with their original mo terms, they are a different textured leather. So they don't patina, they don't darken. Um, which that's a no go for me. I need my leather to like really break in. So I did remove long ago when I first got this planner, I removed the Moterm tag. I did not like that sticking off my planner. And I also removed the pen loop because I do find that it was a little bulky, especially if I wanted something in these pockets. 
Um, I am still using the 25 millimeter rings that it comes with. I do have the fly leaf in here. And then my front zipper pocket just has, oop, so I do have some stamps and a couple band-aids in here. And then apparently I just went a little crazy with stamps. So I have more stamps here. And then just a couple little circle, circular stickers. Uh, Planner Monkey Co. are absolutely my favorite stickers. Uh, she has the best tabs, which I do need to order some tabs for my monthlies. So just, I love her sticker size for her sheets. They're perfect. These are like her little headers. I have not used those ones though. Um, this is from my passport. Uh, I had a couple of these, so I decided to cut one of them down and put a couple pictures on both sides. The fly leaf. What I found is if I did not have this in front of the fly leaf, it made my inserts kind of bulk up, which that was driving me a little crazy. So I switched it around. And so you see my pictures when I first opened the planner, this planner does need to be broken in a little bit, but once I like start laying my inserts down, the planner actually lays pretty flat. The big bag pocket, I just have a couple sheets of stickers, a recipe, the picture of me when I was younger, my kid's school schedule. That's all I have back there. And my first section is home. I did have some business cards in here, but I took them out and forgot to put them back in, but that's no big deal. Uh, these are from UNI Graphics. I've had them for a couple of years now at least. Uh, and it comes with a whole bundle with all the different covers. I think there's like 40 different cover options to pick from. And in here is, this is just going to be home related items. So task reminder, this is a freebie from Plan With Me. Okay, so I just have a phone number on there. Some home tasks. And then these are freebies from Peanuts Planner Co. as well. They are in her Facebook group. You guys can check that out. I do have a reoccurring task list. Again, I am just freshly setting this planner up. So this is going to be things that are done around the house on a monthly basis. Just a couple of post it notes and then just scratch paper in case I need to write anything down. Then these are Moterm. They're a little bit off colored, but I use those for our pets. And I'm just going to log their information going forward. I don't need to rewrite what's already in my personal. That is something I can reference if I need to. So going forward, I will write about their appointment visits. This is a plan with B. Is this plan with B? Yes, plan would be home maintenance insert. I did not print these front and back. Uh, vehicle maintenance, inventory. This is going to be our pantry, but it's also going to be household things like shampoos, conditioners, toilet paper, paper towels, those type of things. Just as like a quick reference. And then podcast. I have a list of podcasts that I will be tra uh, transferring out of my personal rings. Then we're going right into my monthly. So I do have this little sheet that says inbox. This is also plan with B. This is not a freebie. This, I don't think these are freebies either. I bought those. There are other inserts from plan with B. They're in her Etsy. This is her key, but I'm going to use this for my inbox insert. Another UNI graphic. I love this sticker because it looks like Archie. This is a freebie. Oh, uh, it's not coming to me right now. This is where I'll be putting Ryan's schedules, just like in my personal. This is for birthdays and anniversaries. This is Peanuts Planner Co. These are separate. And then this is also part of that bundle. This is just going to be notes if I need to take anything down per month. Again, I have this in my personal, so I'm going to transfer things. This insert, I haven't quite decided, but it comes as part of the bundle. So, yeah, so that's that. And then... This I'm going to mark off because I had that appointment today. Um, and then contact reference in case like phone calls if I want to write down who I spoke to and when. Then we're getting into the monthly, which again, this is the Marcia Bermucci. And I love the amount of space. I feel like I will not be crammed at all with this size insert. And as far as I know, some people don't like having the double weekend, but we don't typically have tons of plans during the weekend. My kids' sports and all that is usually during the week. Weeklies. Oh, and these are Foxy Fix dividers. They're obviously ancient at this point, and I've had them a long time. My weeklies. This is where it got a little bit tricky, and I didn't know what I wanted to use because I'm mostly a monthly, daily person. Weekly, I like to take things from my monthly, put them onto a weekly so that I'm not looking at my entire month. I'm just looking at the week at a time. So this is the freebie from Peanuts Planner Co. But then I just started switching over um, this morning to these ones. These are um, from Introvert Plans. 
I really hope I just said your name right, Harmony. Um, I'm going to link these. Uh, they, are, they are a freebie and they're fantastic. I love how you have the month up at the top and then you can do your running to-do list and you can have your little habit tracker over here. So I plan on, once this is fully filled in, because obviously I just started setting it up, I will share that. This is a different weekly from Peanuts Planner Co. It's in here so that I can play around with it. What I liked is this was similar to the Commit 30 Planner, having the vertical boxes. So that is my weekly section for now. And then dailies. Oh, I forgot about this. I just printed this. I printed the smaller version. There's two sizes to this. Well, two sizes for pocket in this insert. And it just says morning, afternoon, and evening. And I plan on just using this for different sticky. I'm going to put little sticky notes on each of these for like what my morning, my uh, afternoon, and evening routines are because there are certain things that we do. And then capture of the day, I'm just going to flip to this, is again that weekly from Peanuts Planner Co. And I did this back in the day. You'll have to look at one of my personal ring planners. Uh, I, I followed through with it for almost an entire year where I just write a snippet of the day and I just feel like this is a good amount of space. It's not too much space. So I just figured I'd give it a shot again. My dailies are back to sweet caress. I've had these inserts for probably like five years now. I don't know, something like that. She makes these in pocket and personal. And it's just for me to brain dump out my day. I like to get whatever is in my head, list of stuff I know I need to do. I like to just get it out of my head. My next section is my health section. Again, it's quite similar to my uh, personal. And I have my kids section, which are these colored tabs. And it's just a health insert like this. Oh, this one isn't filled out. So it looks like this. I have one of these fold outs to put all of our kids school info like their absences if they missed a day if they were late one day and then they each have a peanuts planner co health log and then for my section uh i just honestly track my goals my workouts my medications like vitamins those type of stuff vitamins um vitamin d my workouts, my step tracker, my cycle tracker, which I only have to go through one more cycle. I'm having a hysterectomy next month and I cannot wait. So I have all my trackers and these trackers are from, gosh, I'm drawing a blank, Puffin Penguin Co. Puffin Penguin Co. And then I have some notes pages in here, some health pages in here. And again, I am not transferring anything from my personal over to this pocket. I am starting fresh in here. If I need to reference, I'll just look at that. And then in the very back, I just have a very minimal finance section, which is just a checkbook register, an online order tracker, and a bill tracker. And that's it. And then I just have a couple little home information things back there. And then that is the back of that. And then just some business cards in here. And that is my setup. Now I'm going to spend the morning filling out my new monthly. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. Okay, bye.